are between the ages of 15 and 35, you are a member of the generation that will transform American politics. Does this sound impossible? Allow me 18 minutes to tell you the story of our generation. Is this your image of American politics? I wanted to start with some questions. Um, do you, when you think of American politics, do you think of the issues? Are they flooded by money and negativity? Do you see two parties that are in conflict, that are not getting anything done? What is missing from this picture? Oh, we're missing a slide here. Um, so, uh, okay. um, over 41% of the American public doesn't identify as Democrat or Republican anymore. 41% of voting age Americans are independent. Since 2008, 2.5 million people have left the Democratic and Republican parties. And among our generation, that number is between 45 to 60% are identifying as independent. So could American politics ever look like this? If you don't think so, then you're probably not a member of our generation. So who is our generation? Some people are calling our generation the boomerang because we have a tendency after heading out to college to come right back home. And some of that's a sign of the economic times. Uh, maybe it's also because we're yeah, trying to save some money. So <laughs> uh, who, who are we? Other people have suggested that we could call ourselves Generation Y because we're the generation that comes after Generation X. Um, the Echo Boomers because uh, we're the children of the baby boomers. I am here to tell you today that our generation will be not defined by a name, but we will be defined by what we build. Elon Musk, at the age of 35, started the first new American car company in decades. But by that time, he had already created a multi-million dollar company, PayPal, and the first company, the first private company that took people to outer space, SpaceX. Uh, MyYearbook.com was created by a 15-year-old who became a millionaire uh, soon after that. And Sarah Blakely, she was only 27 when she became a billionaire creating Spanx. Mark Zuckerberg is, of course, an overused analogy of someone right out of college who created huge value. So what is... So our generation doesn't just sit around. Our generation takes action. I want to talk to you about some of the heroes, some of the people in our generation that are um, working to build the solutions to make government work better. Uh, Jennifer started a whole core of young people who are going into small local governments and fixing the bureaucracy with innovative smartphone applications. It's code for America. Policy Mike was started by two guys, Jason Horowitz and Christopher Alchek, right out of college. Policy Mike was started in less than a year ago, and it's already the fastest growing news site in the US. The idea is that anyone can participate in writing the news um, and if you do, if you submit uh, comments um, like that are good quality, then you would earn mics, which then allow you to actually write the news articles on Policy Mic. Plain Sight was started by um, someone in the same class, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Aaron Greenspan, and it's a site where um, individuals are going on and suggesting um, modifications to laws. A greater bill.us is something also that's just taking off in the last year. Jonathan Den, another young guy, um, has the idea that we can, um, working together, come up with ideas that achieve you know, between a 90% and 100% consensus rate. We live in a situation right now in America 
where sometimes 75 to 90 percent of Americans will think an idea is a good idea for a law and that a regulation needs change, and yet Congress is failing to pass these common sense solutions. What else is our generation doing? Well, No Labels um, has some co-founders that were also in our generation, and 500,000 people have joined with the idea that we shouldn't be left or right, that we should make Congress work for America. Elect Next, another site by someone from University of Pennsylvania, young graduate Kia Donovan, who's created the e-harmony of politics, bringing together um, people with, uh, helping people to be matched to the politicians that most closely represent their ideas. Now, um, imagine, okay, imagine with me, if America's founding fathers had our technology, what would they have created? How would they have done things differently? Would government work the same with three branches and numerous checks and balances? Could it work the same, but a little bit better, where we, the people, could participate more directly in informing the lawmaking process? Where all around the world, People are learning how to use um, technology to make our existing institutions work a little bit uh, more fairly. United let me, yeah, let me just go back here and tell a real quick story. So when Congress, uh, when, when the first Constitution was first wrote, there was one U.S. representative for every 20,000 people. If we had that same ratio of representatives to people today, the, ho the House of Representatives would have 15,000 members. Imagine how much less of an impact, or how special, in uh, special interest money would have um, if, that many pe if you had to persuade that many people to your perspective. The United States should continue to lead the world as a model for democracy. Unfortunately, young people can inspire old people to join us, too, to make these things happen. And I'm going to introduce you and talk to you about some of the people that have joined a team of leaders in Philadelphia, the birthplace of American independence, to create this, a, a new plan for how we can participate in government. Instead of voting for a politician, who you don't really know, or who only partially represents your interests, at the website that we are building, directcongress.org, we the people will be able to select America's laws. <coughs> Direct Congress is building forums that are easy for busy people to make a well-informed decision about current laws that are before Congress by providing e visual summaries of laws with, a simple, with an easy to understand thumbs up or thumbs down from scientific sources and from nonpartisan sources such as the Congressional Budget Office. We also have a forum where users can directly <coughs> contribute to the conversation by putting out new information about how these laws will affect them. Many in our generation are tired of um, just trying to keep up with the Joneses as a way to motivate us. So we, we don't have any advertisements on our site to keep our site free of consumers. We're going to have my DC office, my direct Congress office, as a workroom where every American can influence um, the legislative process and uh, make sure that they are able to you know, talk about areas where they have expertise. DirectCongress.org is live and has answers to many of your questions. You can reserve your own uh, DC office today at our website. Um, but our generation asked the question, you know, what else might have been different? Well, we developed a transparent process for creating new laws. Anyone in the US may propose a new idea for a law uh, once they first check to see if others have come up with something similar, and then they have to make sure it's constitutional and write a um, clear 
uh, summary of their idea for a law and the text. And um, if enough people approve that proposal um, based on a merit-based system, so it's interesting, this is an older uh, slideshow than what I um, had created. So there's a couple, there's a bunch of slides that are missing. Um, so it'd be a little bit more easy for me to communicate this. The idea is that if it, based on what you've been able to accomplish on in the direct Congress forums, you'll need uh, less co-sponsors if you uh, have a, developed a good reputation. So once um, you've got enough people to say yes, your idea for a law is ready for a full vote by all Americans, the bill moves to the heart of direct Congress, which is the deliberation room, where people can um, rate the idea on a scale of negative one to five stars, negative one star um, being that you think the idea is unethical or fundamentally flawed, and zero stars, meaning that um, you feel that you're opposed to the idea. Bills with narrow special interests are sent, or are poor quality, are sent to the depository uh, to keep our site free from clutter. When 20% of the active participants on direct Congress uh, agree the bill is ready, the bill moves to the voting floor where U.S. citizens are notified, who are verified registered voters are notified by email that they can um, select either yes or no as to whether they want the bill to become a law. Each member of Congress will receive regular updates about their constituents' decisions online. The U.S. Congress's job is to pass the best laws for America. That's what Ameri the American's mandate is for our Congress, to represent the will of the majority of their constituents. Should Congress continue to ignore Americans' clear directions, direct Congress will begin supporting candidates from any political party who agree to only vote the way constituents, the way citizens vote online. Direct Congress is America's first postpartisan online voting party that directly tells Congress what the American people want. We the people can make sure government is led by citizen reviewed information, not special interest money. Our generations are building the new platforms for American politics and it may not be directcongress.org or my DC office. It may not be some of these other sites that I presented to you. But together, as we continue to come together and share creative ideas, we can build the next platform that will transform American politics. Thank you very much.